I lost a $10,000 fishing tool over the side of the boat. Some of you guys have been watching me for a while might know what I'm talking about. Uh, you guys see videos in the past of me using it, but I literally broke it and I lost it on the side of the boat on this trip. We turned a negative into a positive. At the end of the day, it might have turned out to be one of our better trips, honestly. It's pretty epic, we did extremely well, and it's just one of those things where persistency pays off, I guess. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. You're gonna see my son, Damien, try and make some money. He ended up costing me $50. He did a, I don't know if you can call it ice bucket challenge or a blood ice challenge, but he'll do that at the end for you guys, for your entertainment value. And uh, we have lures dropping today on morestores.com. Stay till the end, and I'm gonna tell you guys there's some special stuff going on with the lure drop today, you know what I mean? And for the guys that watch the video, I'm gonna give the first 10 of you guys a code. The code will pop up somewhere in the video. But if you use that code at checkout today for the first 10 people, I'll give you something special. I'm only doing this for YouTube guys, for a YouTube fan. So I guess that's it. Uh, I guess here we go, boys and girls, for the dream. Here we go. Welcome to Red Ledges Hawaii, this is what we do. <laughs> First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we're fishing a beautiful Haleiwa. It is extremely overcast, it's back there. About 16 miles out right now. We're gonna run to a buoy today. We're gonna run the stick, see if there's anything on that buoy in the morning. So fishing with me today, I have the one and only, Ninja Henry. <laughs> And uh, another person we brought along for a uh, high entertainment value. Yard sale rye. How many, how many hats did you bring today, rye? One? Right. <laughs> Only bought one hat today. Oh my God, it's gonna be good. Chances are, he's probably gonna lose that hat very early in the day. It's not too windy today, but we'll see. But with any good fishing trip, as always, you have to give something to get something. Let's give this boost to be. We're almost at the boot. We're gonna stick out very shortly. And uh, see, so we get lucky, boys and girls. Henry, that Musubi fell apart on me. <laughs> 7 Eleven, only frozen Musubi. They say it fell apart on me. What the? All right, here we go. Henry and Yard still put out the stick. We're getting ready to go. See if we can get lucky at the buoy first thing in the morning. Sometimes it holds fish, sometimes we're lucky. Hopefully, today's the way we're lucky because apparently it's been extremely dead and there's not much going on. So I hope we today. We can get lucky and hopefully pull some kind of bite. So first thing wise, you guys know we're gonna run that stick. See if the stick does the trick. We'll see. I drove by and I saw a couple small marks. Nothing to write home about yet, but we'll see shortly, boys and girls. For the dream, never give up. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, see what happens if Harry puts out the stick. Be number one went out. There's a lot of fish on the buoy. There's a lot of fish on the buoy. We literally just lucked out. I can't believe there's that much fish. We're on already. I can't believe there's that much fish here right now. Oh, wow. I think that's a gunner. Yo, one my mine in the box. Yo, one more biting. Wait, the my mines are biting. That is Chibis. I guess there's my mines here. Let's see, it's a good size one. Find another gutter. Anything over 20 pounds, we refer to gutters. When you get to the auction, you have to gill and gut them. This one is aggressive, Henry. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that might jump in the boat. Only go by the prop, Henry. There you go. That's two. Yeah, I'm going to put the other one on. Yeah, sometimes the Hollywood boys, they hold my mind. We've been there before, they hold like got like over a half dozen gutters first thing in the morning. So this thing's got some my mice on first thing in the morning, which is nice. It'll definitely help us cover expenses. I don't know much is here. We got a couple bites, but I see marks in the water. It looks like sheeny, but they're not biting, so I don't know. Weird. All right, we'll keep going. We'll see what happens. That's two my mice and one rat sheeny so far. We got 100 pounds of my mice. It's an epic day. Let's see what happens. All right, boys and girls, for the dream. Never give up with the jerky jerky. We're gonna pass right next to the buoy. So when you're lucky. Number three, yeah? Number four. Tighten it, Henry. Tighten it. Okay. Don't worry about that for now. The stick broke. Huh? 
Yeah. What do you mean, bro? Stop fishing. It's gonna be in the water with them, huh? Where'd they go? I thought you'd see it. The line broke too. What line broke? The blue line. Huh? Like the blue line right here? Yeah, that's the blue line right here. Get a stick go. They're gonna sink that stick, yeah? This fish might have cost me I broke my stick. It's not spinal, but I broke it. The cracked. Unbelievable. All right, so there's still some sheaves going up here and there. Not as much as earlier, which I figured out the stick situation. The top part of the stick is definitely gone. That thing sunk. Guarantee sunk like an anchor. As soon as the sheaves here, uh, we put out some uh, 68 to 7 inch lures. Sydney out to bite. Should work. I'm not confident in it. See what happens, boys. We're listening to the pass through them. Right here. Rise on a gill and got that big money, the big uh, cow. And we're gonna put it away and I'll put the sheep away. That sheep is at least 60, yeah, Henry. 56 foot, yeah. You chased his burp a little ways off the buoy. And they ran off the buoy about six miles. Still chasing them. I think they're still on. I don't know what it is. But they're kind of all spread out, scattered right now. No idea. We'll see. I don't know if it's the shivis under the buoys or the mai. I don't think it's the mai's. I have no idea. Maybe the shivis are on the buoys. Maybe they moved off. I don't know. I was marking a lot of them, man. After we got that first one, that was it. They really went down. And the stick broke, so I didn't help either, but they went down. We need some again. Weird. <laughs> got me some stick money back. Look. Always not going to be happy about this one. She's going to be very upset with me. That really hurt. But you know what? Never give up. Be positive, I mean, see what happens. Bye bye, yeah. Bye bye. Good size one. Yeah. Bye bye on the headline. What the dog, man? Uh, Travelo. It's a nice one. Go on, Harry, go on, Harry. Watch out, you're hooking, watch out. Big up, good job. Way too high. Harry, was on the 5-inch, save the day. 5-inch STD, save the day lure. Good job, guys. Yee, 5 inch against the my wise. 10.30, about 25 miles out. And it's not a bird foul. Let's get them. We got, we got, Six inch lures, and then some five inch lures out. See if we can get lucky, I don't know what it is. Maybe the toddlers, I don't know. And the small white mic, you know, be the small five inch lure. I guess there's lots of white mics in his birds. Is that Ono? Ono. Ono. Henry, it's an Ono, Henry. You gotta gaff that guy. Don't throw that guy. Oh, here's the other light tank. Oh, out. Oh, God. Huh? Bring him on, the, bring him up on your side, right? Okay, turn it. You gotta gaff him out. Watch out behind you, Henry. What's that line about my prop now? After you gaff him, right? Well, grab the other blue line after you gaff him, man. Grab the hand line. Right. Oh, it came off, it came off. Oh no. Yeah, there you go. Good job, right? That's the one. Henry, you got it? Yeah. So Henry's putting uh, the Mai Mai away, the other Mai Mai. He's gonna put the Ono away. 
I think we got something in the long rear, you know. I think we got something in the long rear, guys. The long rear is, that rear is very, very bent a lot. Just be careful with that guy, yeah? Do not drop it on Henry at all. The one fish you really have to have respect for. I told them, we'll throw a fish on his boat, but look at this guy's mouth. We'll not throw that guy in the boat. No way. All right, try not to put your blood on Henry's back, okay? <laughs> Can you have the oil? Yeah, that's one fish. <laughs> I know from young kid time I gotta have a respect for it. Cause my dad told me, and my dad's probably watching this. Don't play with the ono. Don't play with the ono. I was about my son's age. I was like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Rub my finger, split my finger wide open, blood everywhere. I was over here, ah, jelly my head off. He's like, I told you. Now listen, yeah. Just like Damien, so. I'm sure Damien's gonna get his own cut. It's still on. So I'm sure Damien's gonna get his, uh, his certified own cut eventually one day too. Got a couple of baits baited out because really there's it's been a small rubbish though. We thought there was a small rubbish here, so we baited some baits just in case they came out of the boat, but I don't know. It's very unusual to get Ono in the deep water. That's what makes me think there's some kind of small rubbish out here or what. But we chased these birds all the way from the buoy on the inside of Haliba, all the way out. And they must have ran to another bird pile or something because they're running for a while. We should have followed them, followed them. So no idea. No idea those are. We didn't see nothing in the water yet, but we will come across something shortly. Something on our ride. Right kick the battery cable. So before we get connected again, we might as well let them reel for a little bit. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. That is the smallest one I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Henry, we don't have to get this one, Henry. I didn't say we have to get all of them. Why? This is the exception to the rule right here. Open it now. Oh, it's on now. Oh, now it's on. Hey, just turn on the, the deck. Watch out. Oh my god. Where the hell did that thing come from? I told you, there must be some kind of rubbish or something in the water. There has to be something. There's something around here, guaranteed. You don't catch those guys like that out here. Oh, that guy would definitely cut you for more and kill you. <laughs> be careful that guy, bat him. 16 inch bullet. There's gotta be something over here. Okay, we're keeping the birds. There must be something over. We're gonna keep looking. Yeah, keep those hooks baited out just in case. I think there might be something, Henry. Hey, okay. try a little bit off this one, just a little bit. Oh, oh, push the drag up, push the drag up. There you go. That's how you set the hook. <laughs> my, my, bring it in the corner. It's a my, my. Yeah, maybe it's some kind of small net or something stung. You know, it's moving slowly because the, the birds are moving slowly. There must be something in the water, maybe like a small cargo or something in the water, I don't know. You have to bring one over those lines, Henry. Just walk them forward. Oh, God. There you go. Just keep reeling. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's really gonna try to stick it to you, Henry. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Cracking this line? I got it. I got it. Oh, boy. Okay, let me out. let off some lines. Okay. You want to try gaff? Is it easier if you gaff them? Maybe easier if you gaff them. Right, pass them my gaff. Hey, here's a gaff. Stick him with the gaff. Maybe easier. Stick him with the gaff. Stick him with the gaff. He's about to go nuts. Stick him in the head, right? Get him in the head. Don't get my bow. I got it. Welcome. There you go. Okay. We're going to shibby that bit on this one. Oh, well, my mind is on right. Open a box after. Open a box. Okay. Open a box, guys. Oh, oh, I came off right there. He's right there. That's a bull, too. Okay, let's get on Shibi. Let's get on Shibi. Get on Shibi. Oh, that was a bull. Couldn't do nothing, though. He's a cross weird. That's right. Oh, that was a big bull. There's a Shibi on this one now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Say same pull it, baby. All right. All oh, right, come with the camera off. You guys still? Oh, he's squirting blood. Oh, that's a good size one. That's a good size one. Good job, Henry. Good job, Ry. Good job, Ry. Man, that my my. What? Okay, we got this one. Yeah, we lost the my but we'll take this. Good size, that's about a 65. Good job, boys. Good job. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, so I got it, Dylan gutted, perfect. Plus oh, 65 pounds CD, maybe bigger. I'd say at least 65, maybe bigger, huh, Henry? Yeah. If you ever get to uh, own on the outside like we did, that kind of telltale sign for us to stick around, there might be something over here. I don't see it in the water, but there, there must be something drifting. So I'm gonna follow the birds, because I'm sure the birds can see it. I don't see it, it must be right underneath the water line. Sometimes you'll find rubbish literally a foot, two feet underneath the water. And it's running over, I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna just kind of set these birds right now. They're going out slowly, very, very slowly, but get Ono, Mai Mai, and Shibi all in the same area. There's gotta be something here. But we'll keep going and see what happens. I don't know. No idea. I know the buoy inside was holding fish. Like some Mai Mai's and stuff earlier this morning. So I know that buoy's holding fish. So I can go back there for the afternoon bite, but let's see what happens here. See. All right, but for the dream, never give up. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. We post new videos every Friday at 9 a.m. Hawaii time. And if you're on at 9 a.m. with us, we're live in the chat. We try to like try to be live in the chat about almost all the time. So you go in there, you can talk trash to us, or you can say, "Oh, good job." Either way, I'll appreciate it. All right, bye. Let's get the lines back down. We'll see you guys soon. Get that blood cleaned up. Oh, fruit punch. Pudding. Putting fish in the bowl slowly, so I can't complain about that. That works. My pop right here. Let's see what happens. They're on something. They're definitely on something. So for the guys that don't know are new to fishing, and you're wondering why are the birds on top of the fish, right? The big fish are down below. They're chasing up the bait fish. When they chase up the bait fish, the birds can hit the bait fish, and that's why they work as a team. The fish don't know they're working as a team, but the birds are in their head thinking that they're working as a team. Oh, right there. So small blow ups. Small blow ups. Maybe small who's Weird. Oh, a mixed bag over here. Oh, there it is. Bigger. The blue head. That's a shooty. That's a TV. That's a TV. But I might be eye kind of. That guy's up. You want to crank, Henry? You want to crank a little more? Uh, hold on, Henry. Henry, right there. Get him. It's a good time. You got him good? Good job, Henry. Good job, Rice. Good job on the gas, Henry. Seems like a blue bullet, baby. Yeah, you. Good job, Rye. Good job, guys. That's how I do it. I didn't hear a lot of people tell me, huh? But I just think you don't get so much fish, yeah? Huh? Well, kind of proving you guys wrong today, huh? Oh, on again, on again. I know some people have been saying, oh, you don't really catch too much on your stick, right? No, I do. I just prefer my stick because it's... I do, I just prefer my stick because it's it's faster, you know what I mean? The playing lures, you can see, I catch them on the lures. It's faster with the stick. I can't allow my way in the boat faster. Nothing wrong with it. We'll keep banging them out this way all day if we can. We gotta pay for a new stick. I'm always still not gonna be happy about this. I know already. Ugh. I'm not happy about it, but it happens. Just remember, if something goes bad while you're fishing on the boat, don't let it hold you down, don't bring the negativity on the boat with your crew, because you know what? Get off you go home, you know what I mean? My stick's busted, it sucks, but you know what? Hey, we're still positive, we're still catching fish. It's still a good day. You're gonna have to come on my boat funds money, which is gonna suck. I don't wanna think about it. <laughs> All right, buddy, if you can, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna need subscribers to help me pay for my stick. So hit the subscribe. Everybody subscribe tells me donate a dollar to my stick. My stick fund from my bank account. Always bank account. All right, let's get back to the bow. Let's get back to the birds. Now if there's some, I gotta look for them. On, on, on. My mind didn't go. 
Ja, mai, mai. Bei dir, mai, mai. Mai, mai. Ich glaube, ich mai, mai, doch. Right. Let's set to her side. Good job. Well, all right. All right, you gonna move that pole afterwards? Move it on the middle one, move by the eye. The pole move by the eye. Thanks, Ray. You have a young crew that wants to learn. Big Rai. Big Rai, tell you what, you can't put a place on that. A young crew that's eager to learn, eager to work, tell you what, you have a winning team. You're an old crew. Maybe not the old guys. Just find people that are willing to work. I mean, it's really difficult. I don't even know what's over here, honestly. I didn't see nothing. There's birds over here. I think you're buying these blind bikes now. It's weird. I'm buying these chibis now. It's super weird. Okay, not too hard. Oh, 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 Then you kill them all and double check your work. You my hero blue. <laughs> I'll never I will never doubt you again, Henry. <laughs> Bro. Oh my Stick goodness. Your hand in there. I ain't getting bit by this one though. Okay. Smaller one. Sorry, that's okay. You get that don't blue yet. Huh? Oh my god. Oh, you want me to take this one out too, huh? Like a bit. <laughs> oh, man. Make sure you keep that line tight, yeah. Don't bite, don't bite. Hold on. Hang on, try to get a shot in the bird. Yeah. Let's take your leg. Oh. He wasn't coming off. It's inch pinky stinky again. Man. Line going out, Henry. That's fine, you're good, you're good. Hold your turn, it's fine. You need a knife drive? You might have to flip them the other way though. Yeah. You might have to flip them towards you. There you go. Take your ride. Oh. The line's back out, right? gonna get in good. Good to go, boys and girls. I think a fair assessment is haze. Whatever that trash where they said there was something in the water, whatever it was, something you caught in there or what, I think it's gone because we're not hooking my my zone anymore. It's just birds in a 30 mile range and everyone saw the sheeps come up, so weird. I'll take it. What do you think about that, Henry? You'll take that? We gotta get better at finding trash. Oh my god, we still have a whole bunch of bait hooks through there. Oh, we're gonna bait these guys if we find it. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. It must have been sunken. Weird. All right, I'll keep going. About 32 miles out now. And it is 12 o'clock on the dot, Henry. Yeah. What time is your bedtime, Henry? What time do you have to be home? Um, one o'clock. Oh, in the morning, right? Perfect. <laughs> Just so I like to hear. Hey, right, you better call Papa. You come home late. <laughs> All right, let's get those fish nice then. Good can right yeah. Ice. I think at least the first one. Yeah, the first one can. Right, let's put the first one on ice, please. You alright? Put them head down. Let me pass you, I'll pass you, right? Yeah. Can you get in there? You gonna go in there? You got it? Don't step one fish, yeah? You got it? Yeah? There you go. Perfect. Put your fins down. Put his fin down. I'm gonna dump a little ice, so you have to move him over, okay? Perfect, right there. All right, open his gills in the front. Drop in his gills. Okay, now what I need you to do is grab him and just move him over just a little bit. That way the ice goes in between so you don't have fish touching on fish, yeah? Is it good? They're not touching, huh? 
Okay, move him. Just shift him over just a little bit so we're gonna fish on fish. Move this fish over. Should you push him? Should you push him? Nice, we right between. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, we don't want fish on fish. Good. Oh, lost your hat. It's okay, it's in the box, right? <laughs> Here. Yeah, that's good, right? Leave him. Should. Move that. Alright, there. But not to ice, not to get your fish. Let it down, sit off for a little bit longer. Perfect. You try to let it sit for about 20 30 minutes, honestly, depending on how you fight. You see, it helps with the burn. I've never had a burn fish for a long, long time. We had a burn 30 pounder the other day. That was the worst burn I ever saw on a 30 pounder. Ever. The worst burn I ever seen, ever. I was a lot more than this. It was a stick bite and terrible. I don't know what happened. The fish must have been running, chasing bait or something, but the worst burn I ever saw. But let's leave them out for a while. So leave them out, see what happens. On for the next one. You might want to wash down. You're, you're nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> well, that's the kind of she be flying right here. That's what those blazes are. I'm not going to give you any tips on how birds fly, what they're doing. The more time you spend on the water, the more you'll be able to distinguish what's what. There's too much detail to try explain what's going on and what it is. But these birds are later find they're on big fish right now. I know that for a fact. So instead of sticking them out, they're gonna come up again. Just gotta wait. But they're definitely on big fish the way they're flying. Next time you see an aku pal, you watch the way the aku birds fly. It's like completely different in this. All right, keep going. And for all the gear I'm using today, check it out on highfishgear.com. Wild 5 code at checkout, 5% off. Local company in Hawaii. They ship all around the United States. I think even Guam and some other places. Lots of local stuff that you can't really get anywhere else. So super epic. Check them out, support the dream. And uh, let's go get more fish in the boat, boys and girls. Links are in my bow for everything that I'm using today, from lines to hooks to everything. All the secret stuff, the top secret stuff. Up. Let's run up. Let's see if we can get in them right there. Let's get in them, baby. Come on, boys and girls, for the dream. If you haven't raised that thumbs up because it's about to go off. Let's go. Come on, baby, one time. Oh, get a double. Oh, that's the one. That's the pass I like. That's the pass I like. Come on, baby. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. That's the pass I like. <laughs> dream work makes the dream work. Thank you guys know. Getting myself a little arm here. Get it close, right? A little bit left. A little bit to your left. I don't have color yet. Keep going, keep going. I got color now. It's kind of deep. Boy. Should you did not go right and go back up, see? Yeah, you're good. You're tired, Ray. You're tired, Ray. Back up. Oh, yeah, he won. He won. He started already. He won. He won. All the way. He won. Oh, swing at the boat. Oh. Oh, don't go back my water. Oh, Henry, this guy's lively. Huh? Get ready, Henry. This guy's lively. Hold on, hold on. Double wrap. Huh? Oh, no, you're not going under, there, baby. Don't let their head dip, boys. Don't let their head dip, boys. Get him. Get him, Henry. Get him, Henry. Get him, Henry. Got him. Got him, man. Don't let their head dead, boys. Just have a good job, boys. Good job, boys. Now let's see. Let's repeat with it. Yep. Oh, hey, he's done, right? Good job, Henry. I will never doubt you again, I promise. <laughs> Good job, Bri. Hey, put your finger in the mouth. <laughs> I know, again, huh? Another one, it's about 50s. Don't let the head dip, boys. So you do, that one came out feisty as hell. All right, let's go again, sit back up. Good job, Bri. Yeah, you. They come up a little feisty sometimes. Whew. Six inch bully again. 
Mass the hatch. I mean, they're eating small fish over here. Well, there's been a small fish, so mass the hatch. I would love to get my big lures with big double hooks inside, but get my small lures with small hooks. Not fun. It's a little different. Definitely gotta have a little luck involved there too. All right, let's go back down. See, let's sit back up and clean up. Good job. Good job, boys. Good job. That thumbs up help. Thank you for everybody giving a thumbs up. Put the lines back out. Rising is getting and gutting like usual. The pile's gonna be out slowly. We're at like 33 right now, 33 and a half. It's gonna be out slowly. So we'll keep staying with them. Tell you what, it's nice when you see North Shore water like this. North Shore is never like this. It's just an epic day. Super epic. But we're back in the pile again. They literally they're up for a minute. And then they went back down. But that's another about a 50 pounder, like 55. We've got about over 200 pounds of fish on the boat so far. 200 pounds of shiwi. All right, we're gonna keep going. They were right here. They literally, right when I turned my camera, one blew up right in front of me. Like, oh, we're in a good zone. Nothing. Nobody's around, so it's epic. It's always good when you're by yourself. Nothing like that. I like the fish on the outside more so because if I find something outside, I don't want the fish to be pressured more, you know what I mean? If it's just me, I can get into them, get a cast, get a strike, get set back up, get into it again, where they're kind of calm, right? Where if you have two or three boats working at safe how, you really stress out the fish. So, that's why me and I'm sure the other people like me like the fish more on the outside where it's kind of doing our own thing. If you can see my green boat, I'm doing something wrong because I want to be where nobody can see me. All right, let's go back out there. Starting to fly again back there. The worst part is only about four poles today. I was getting a little fish today. And then last week I was like, ah, let's go. And I had my two wheels taken apart. I was servicing them. And I had to go to work yesterday. And I had time to put them back there before we went out this morning. So I was like, ah, four poles and a green stick. See what happens. So we don't need Arsenal's poles. I mean, four poles. Who call this fish? I wish I had six though, but we'll take the four. Oh, it's all right. Let's get on the four holes. One. 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 Like that milky action, you know? What else you said is milky, huh? <laughs> Yeah, got everything in that, on that So I thought it was a six-inch lure. Henry was like, "Oh, let's put this out." I was like, "You want to put it out, Henry? You go put it out. Fine. That's your that's your color you made." So it was a seven-inch ice blue head I gave him. The ice blue head right? was like a gray head, huh? Oh, it's purple. Oh, purple? Seven-inch like ice purple head, and Henry went scrape his own colors. Uh, ice purple, and Henry scrape his own colors. And bang, oh bang, I totally forgot. Here's like, yeah, see, see my, see my skirt, my skirt combo. <laughs> I would rather think it's my driving skills, honestly. But we'll go with the skirt combo today. Yeah, I'll leave out there. I'll just stay. I think we're okay. Come out. Okay. No, Get Henry. Get him, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. I got the bat. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You got shark one time. Huh? You got sharks? Yeah. Should bat him fast. You ready? Go ahead.
We were able to hit the buoy on the way in and get a couple of my miles off the buoy baiting. Pull three miles off of it, so not too bad. Yeah, 10 pounds, I need two leg about 14 or 15 pounds. So three more miles added to the total. Off the same way from this morning. It's about four o'clock, 18 miles offshore now. And huh, there's birds by the buoy, so. Yeah, that's the only my mice I saw over there, but there's birds over here with rat aqua jumping all over. We're literally, just, we're literally about to leave. We had the, the first couple, like hour gone. Then it came through again, another small pile. Weird. Keep going. I'll we'll keep going till the pile stop. 18 miles out, so not too bad. But uh, we're gonna keep going. Oh, mine's right down the boat. Mine's right down the boat. Oh, one mine's coming for that, that bait you just threw out. <laughs> One behind the Oh, one on Oh, one behind the boat One my on, on yours, Nick I guess it's true. I'd rather be lucky than good. Heading home with three poles out, just looking back that way at an epic day. And you know what? I guess there's one more just to top it off. Yeah, we're on my mind, yeah. Sorry, you know what? My mind, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it should be. They went ahead. They went ahead. Good, good job. Right there. Back up, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Well. Okay. So it is bullet. A late, late bite. Good job, right? Now you have graduated to Gaffi. Congratulations. <laughs> nice one. That gap up. That's all right. That's all right. My bad. I've seen worse. I've done way worse. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go already. <laughs> I think it, home, I think it's done and it's time to go home. Sun is going down. I broke my stick. I broke my heart today. Mama doesn't know, but she had come out the big count five grand. <laughs> all right, boy. Um, we didn't see it, but we made it quit a few my my. I think it might be maybe. 10? 10 and 8 came on, maybe 8 and 8 came on. Just something there. We'll pull them on shortly, we'll show you guys. After we get this guy gill and gutted, we're gonna start driving back. What, 18 miles, 17 and a half, not too bad. They came in just a little bit. Well, I already get in. Did a little beating. Not bad for Lady Action Barrage. You've been on a Shibi. Can't complain. Good job, Ninja Henry. Tired, tired. Almost in. About an hour more till we get in, so we're almost there. Time to clean up for the fish on ice, and let's go see you when we get in, everybody. If you haven't already, hit the like and the subscribe. We're gonna take this fish to market. We'll have a breakdown for you how much we spent, how much we made. Bearing a lot of fuel today, jetting around chasing a bird pile. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Watering them. Watering them. You what? Taking a break for today. You're close to that. Yeah. Why? Sure, what's okay? Her eyes poking she was. Say he's close today. It's Monday, he's close. He said he hurts today. <laughs> All these young boys don't know. He's like, I hurt today, I'm close today. I'm twice his age. He's like, I'm sore today. Sore? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's go. So fresh shit. Caught it yesterday. They'll be sunny this week. Fight for the first two days till they're gone. Yeah, we need new fish. But 56, 48 pounds. And then, of course, some IMI for his mom. This fish packed up. So, I got my helper with me. I'm at our $20. Oh, really? You need to help me offload all. You can't pay me $50 just to jump in there. $50 you're gonna jump in there? Yeah. Let's do Ice Pass Challenge. $50 you have to go underwater for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, five seconds, five seconds. For how much? 50 hours, and I'll pull the fish on here to go underneath the ice water for five seconds. Okay, are you lying? Are you really gonna do it? Yeah. No, for real. I'll pay you 50 hours, you gonna do it? Yeah. 
Really? Wait, wait, you have to take out all the fish. And you'll go in there for five seconds underwater? Yeah, and how much you'll pay me? $50? Yeah. Okay, let's get the fish out. Let's go. Oh, yes, sir. Don't drop it, dude. Stay tuned if you want to see me jump in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I'm going to make you do it. Okay, this one, we're going to have to pull it out. I don't have to throw it away that outside, okay? Because there's no room over here, okay? Yes, sir. Grab it still. Captain. No, it's not going to hurt you, don't worry. Just grab it still. Get over there. Don't drop it, no. Don't drop it. Put it over there. Don't let it fall on our fish. Go. Good job. Good job, Damien. Okay, got it. On this side. How many fishes did you even catch? No, no, that's not me. It's Uncle Harry. Uncle Harry caught his fish. His fault. Daddy. Good job, champ. Oh, that looks like cute. Oh, she's weird. Not bad, we had nine chibis. I saw two of them to rise already. We got over 20 mice, two onos, uh, eight bigger chibis, one little rat. What are you gonna do with $50? Hours? Um, get a game of VR. And then I don't know why I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the rest of the money I get. So 50 hours, ice match challenge. I'm gonna dump all the ice from here to here and I'm gonna go inside. You have to go inside five seconds under water, okay? Everybody's supposed to watch. If you're not holding your breath for five seconds under water, you're not gonna get the money, I'm telling you now, okay? You have to dump my whole head. Yes, you have to sit it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Yeah, they're better Oh, you know what? No, 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 you know what? You know what? I don't want you to dump your head because it's blood. I don't want that going in your ears. So you know what? You have to go underwater up to your neck for five seconds, okay? okay. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Okay. Is that a deal? Yeah. Say bet. Bet. Okay. We're at the fish auctions. Early in the morning. Uh, we're gonna drop off our fish. It's about four o'clock in the morning now. So let's offload our fish and uh, I guess we'll come back in the afternoon and see how we did. All right, let's get all this fish offloaded. See how we do. Before we get to the breakdown of what we made, what we didn't make off this trip, um, I just want to say thank you very much to the, the Green Stick guys in Japan. I brought to their attention what happened. They say, you know, they never had that tip break before and it broke. They warranted, they took care of me. They gave me a brand new tip. Unfortunately, it's not green. The green was 101, so I got a white tip now, which is fine. But thank you very much to the Green Stick guys for taking care of me and warranting it. I really appreciate it. So I did lose it. I lost it that day, but I guess we really didn't lose it. Kind of, sort of, in a weird way. And one more thing before we get down to what we made and what we didn't make. Like I said, I have lures dropping today. More lures are already up on the website. The code, if you missed in the video, is right there. It's Merry Christmas. First 10 people put in orders, we'll get a, a free lure pretty much. I'm gonna throw in Jerry's package. Um, the other thing also is uh, everybody that buys lures off this drop, it's gonna be entered into a, a giveaway for Christmas. I'm gonna do a, a Christmas raffle giveaway. Um, one per person. I mean, if you do 10 hours, you're still gonna get one raffle ticket and uh, you'll be put into a drawing. On Christmas, we're gonna pick a winner. We're gonna do a live on IG Live and I'll put it on YouTube for you guys also as a short. But uh, I'm gonna give away a $500 lure package to somebody. Fully skirted lures, ready to go. And maybe we'll pick more than one. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how much orders we get, how it goes. Um, so that'll be my Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you guys very much. And uh, like I said earlier, stay to the end. You'll see Damien's blood water ice challenge at the end of this. But uh, overall, we took a couple of the shibis to Rai. Rai took it to his Poke Shop. Check them out, links are in the bio. They support local, they support the dream. They buy nothing but fresh, top quality fish. And we took the rest of the fish to the fish auction. I mean, we lucked out, we did pretty good. Fuel and expense wise, we probably burned about three to four jars and fuel and ice. We used a lot of ice, we burned some fuel. Um, I think overall we made about 18 jars profit. So not too bad for a day of fishing. It really helps cover the slow season, which is now where it's gonna be a lot of fishing with not much fish. So it's really gonna help cover that, push us through to next year. So overall, this is a pretty good trip. Next week's video, if you like shallow bottom papil, just nabeta, just reef bottom stuff, you're gonna like this. It's, it's gonna be pretty good. We have a couple weeks of that because we have a contest that we're in and you know, we put our best effort forward. So that video's gonna be coming next week. But uh, I guess that's it. Uh, here's Damien's ice water bucket challenge. But uh, as always guys, tight line, safe fishing. We'll see you on the water or under the water. And here's the ice bucket challenge. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I know he did. He made $50 out of me. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Fish box ice water challenge. Why are you wearing the blood water on me? You gotta do it just in your underwear. No shorts, no shirt. Mommy don't get all bloody. Huh? Mommy doesn't want all bloody. This is the fish box challenge. He's gonna have to go in there, sit in there, and keep the water above his neck as long as it's deep enough for five seconds. And if he does that, he will get $50. Chicken winner. You better not close it on me, though.
Okay, get in there. Hurry up, let's do it. Go on down. Go on down, sit One. Yeah, one more down, slide more down. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you're like, hey, you can't do that for YouTube. Go on, big. Is it cold? Oh, the camera wasn't recording. I have to do it again, dude. I'm sorry, Damien. I'm sorry. Good job, champion. Yeah, you have to picture me right there. <laughs> That's something. Keep it around. Rinse off. It's out of blood. All right. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I can What's subscribe. About the fish, you want this fish from the sea? No water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man.